Uh, hey everybody, welcome to uh, Friday Night Modern here at Game Swap and Mason, brought to you by Top Deck Productions, streaming on Twitch TV. I'm Mark and I'm here with uh, Brent. Hell yeah. Uh, not my usual co-host Mario. Mario's uh, taking vacation, I don't even know. Mario's I'm second best though. Yeah, Brent is at least, maybe maybe third or fourth best. Uh, Brent's definitely, definitely good. Fourth? Yeah, definitely a top tier uh, common, not to be confused with top tier gaming though. Um yeah, oh yeah, though. But <laughs> 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 all right, so we got a uh, we got Mike Bassford on Jess Guy Control and Logan Reinhardt on. It's actually not correct. Um, we were just talking to Logan about his deck. It's not Black Red Hollow One. It's actually Black Red Death Shadow with he two Blood Moon mainboard, right? I think he said sideboard. Um, I thought he said main. I think he said they're in the sideboard. Either but way. I, but I, yeah, he's so he's got like Faithless looting, but. He's not playing Hollow One. He, he specifically said, I'm not playing Hollow One. He's playing Pack Rat, Death Shadow, a full discard, you know, maybe seven to eight discard spells. Um, I forget, there was some, wasn't there something else he was getting value off with uh, with Faithless Looting? Oh, he's got Blood, Blood Gas. Yeah. So I'm pretty stoked. This sounds fun. Blood Gas seems tough for, uh, for Mike to deal with. Obviously, he's got Path, but. Um, yeah, hopefully he's got Path. Yeah, but Logan has some, some resilient threats and. A, a lot of hand disruption. Possibly all eight spells. Uh, I would imagine so. Because I don't know what else you're going to fill up with that deck if you don't have hollowed ones. Right, yeah. Right? And I don't know how many pack rats there are, but yeah, it seems like if you don't have, like... Like, if you compare this list to a blue list, and, like, let's say it, it literally is Grixis Death Shadow, but you took out four Snapcasters and put in four Faithlessly, and there's still a bunch of blue, blue slots that have to be filled, like right, your, your can sure. trips and... So I, I don't know how many pack rats there are, though. Well, I mean, if he does it right and he gets it off, he'll have all the pack rats. All the pack rats, right. <laughs> that hell yeah. <laughs> uh, pack Ooh, rat's a great card. Got a blood guest in the graveyard. Hell all right, yeah. so that'll be coming out next turn. Um, hopefully. I think Logan has another blood crypt in hand. And Mike plays a very ugly island. Not a fan of these things. You're not? Not a fan. Dude, I am a fan. Not a fan. You're uh, wrong. They, they don't... Um, I don't think they look like magic cards, and I I wish. You're right, they don't. But like unhinged, I like it. unhinged lands and unglued lands still very much look like the game that you're playing. I don't like unglued. You don't like unglued? Too much border. Well, it, well so if your if your deck is full of mud borders, like like OG magic borders, and you have your you know, you have your your unglued lands in there. They they really match pretty well, I think. But but these like look how like on this on this feature match specifically, look at that island. How it like like it blends into the T of top deck. You yeah, know, like but it's the got tea, no, but it's the got no border. Just like that's the kind of that's the kind of incest that a border would would stop. You know, <laughs> I think it's fine. All right, so we got the uh, thoughts. These seems good. What do you take here? I'm thinking that well, it depends on what's in your hand. You might want to take Electrolyte. Okay, he's taking the Logic yeah. Knot. That means he might have a, a Fetch Shock Death Shadow here. You think? Yeah, because then he could put out a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, well, he's just going to pass the turn, so never mind. Mike is going to opt at end of turn. You know I work out with Mike. You work out with Mike? I work out with Mike. I feel like Mike works out a lot. Uh, yeah. I'm not saying he works out more than you. But well, I uh, mean, I, I kind of go guy. when he goes. Okay. So we're trying to do like four times a week. Yeah, that's that's a lot. That's and, he, um, and he even has a certificate to be like a trainer. Oh, yeah. yeah. I found that out after the f like during the first day of working out. And I was like, well, shoot. I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four, four days a week. That's uh, I don't even eat breakfast that many days a week. I never eat breakfast. I get a cup of coffee and say, well, guess I'll wait till lunch. Wow, you're such a man, Brent. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> All right, so we got a we got a cycled street wraith. Uh, oh, he he cycled that earlier. Just kidding. Um, tapped colonnade, leaving up two mana. But it looks like the card that Mike drew was lightning bolt. So he's pretending to have a counter here, but he doesn't. I think his plan is to. He has another opt, right? So he Mike is? could Mike yeah, could opt, opt and bolt something. At the end of Logan's turn, but. I'm not sure how good Bolt is against Bloodgast. Uh, I feel like it's a waste, honestly. Well, it's, it's, certainly, it's a certainly not a basic waste land that taps for colorless mana, if that's what you mean. But I see your, I see your point. 
Hey, Mark. <laughs> you're a great guy. Hey, you're a great guy too. But okay, no, we got a no, 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 no. we got a swamp. Yeah. So, so that's interesting. Uh, that Logan. I guess he's protecting his life total. It means he probably doesn't have a shadow in hand. I feel like at this point he shouldn't be because death shadow decks are very aggro. Yeah, but he's also got to worry. I mean, these Jeskai control decks with bolts, you know, you got to really manage. Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> he does not have a counter yeah, spell. Yeah. Mike's going to be hurting real quick. Yeah, this is, this is going to get brutal. I'm not Ooh. sure that it's very tough for a, uh, a blue player to come back from a, a turn three Lily. Uh, with no board presence if it resolves. Right. Now, obviously, Mike can bolt that Lily down to one and then electrolyze it on his next turn for one, but I think you're still so far behind doing that. Because, I mean, Mike well, doesn't... I don't. I don't know. He has, to, he has to fire off the bolt now because or else he doesn't have double red mana guaranteed, right? Yeah, he's bolted now, and then next turn... Yeah, but he'll he's going to spend his whole turn doing that electrolyze, right? I mean, I mean it's control anyway. Yeah. So you electrolyze right now, right? I guess hit, you. I guess if Lily. you send. I guess if you send the other electrolyze at the blood ghast. Yeah, that's, the other part. That's okay. And plus, Mike's gonna be drawing a card. It's always good to draw cards. Drawing cards feels good. Yep, I agree. So, oh man, doesn't feel good. You ever you ever cast a hallowed moonlight, and then drawn a card? Can't say I have. Oh man, it feels good. <laughs> Dude, I so. Do you play Hearthstone? I do play Hearthstone. Yeah, I, I'll tell you. I actually used to play, uh, like way too much. Yeah. I have a a number of of fully gold decks. I I have a fully gold Malagos Shaman deck in Wild. Uh, um, thing is a is a it's a thing of beauty. Yeah, but anyway, I'm sure it is. not not to diminish your Hearthstone decks, but go on. So I'm, I I play standard in Hearthstone. Okay. And uh, there's this Warlock deck, and you just draw like your whole deck. Yeah, so I, I'm not playing standard right now. How do you draw your whole deck? I mean, you got like that life, that life tap, right? Have you seen any of the new cards that came out? With so bubbles? yeah, the life tap is the ability that when you deal dam, it's like life link. Life tap or? Oh, yeah. you mean life tap the hero power? Yeah, I yeah, play okay. warlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else do you expect me to play? Anyway, so there's a combo in there, right? Have you seen any of the new kobolds and catacombs? No, no, no. I, I haven't even logged on since Mark. that came out. Mark. <laughs> Is it and, sweet? Uh, yeah. The, so the deck is just basically straight control, and then it's like, boom, combo off with um, uh, the um, the five seven with charge. Do uh, doom guard. Yeah, doom guard. Yeah. You just how do you combo with doom guard? So <coughs> the uh, legendary from um, the dinosaur expansion, right? There's a legendary that says whenever you play a card, activate its death rattle right away. Okay. And then Death Rattle is like a when it dies trigger for yes. those of you playing along at home. <laughs> and then um, there's a cube where you destroy one of your creatures, and when the cube dies, Death Rattle summon two copies of whatever it destroyed. Yeah. So okay. So I that sounds a lot like the old uh, the old shaman combos where you play uh, re like what is it reincarnate and you play multiple. oh with Kalthazad. Well, you didn't even have to play Kelpizod. You could play Alakir, Storm Elemental, or whatever that guy is, yeah. and, then, and you could turn one, or you could not turn one, but you could one turn combo people. Yeah, it's but, dirty. But so you're saying you reanimate like like five Doom Guards or something? Yeah, and then with the uh, new Death Knights, like so they clear your board. You're just like, all right, uh, Death Knight, Gul'dan, and then it's just like, all right, I got five more Doom Guards. <laughs> Easy money. <laughs> Easy Let's money. Go. That's that's how she wrote it up, folks. Yeah, combo decks have been interesting to see develop in Hearthstone because. The game does not have a lot of play space. You know, there's not a whole bunch of. You get seven creatures. Right. You get seven creatures. There's no. There's no interaction on your opponent's turn. But they've done a good job bending the rules of a card game and using deck manipulation to create combos with the space they have. It's beautiful. Um, the first combo deck I I got into was Malaga's Shaman, but I, I really liked the. Um, what's that? That that old. As soon as they made the Time Warp Priest quest, um, they made. You mean th Mage? Uh, yeah, Mage. There's that. Um, there's that. There was oh, that the Exodia Mage. Yes, where you copy. You have four. Um, <laughs> yeah, you get four uh, yeah. pine size summon. Or yeah, you have four yeah. young. What is it? S young sorceress or whatever in play. Yeah. And because you're copying them with that ability, and then you and then you play, play Archmage Antonitis yeah, and you cast Unlimited Fireball. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that, that deck was pretty sweet. It's still really good. Is it really? Oh, dude, it is good. It's still good. I hate it. <laughs> it's that good. <laughs> 
So back to this thing that uh, you're here to watch stream. Um, oh, this ain't Hearthstone? I don't think this is Hearthstone. Uh oh. It looks like a couple of Death Shat. There are six sixes, I guess. Whew. And, uh, and like we said, so here's the thing. Mike is, he appears to be in a bad spot. Um, especially with with only two cards in hand now, and, and none of them are none of them yeah none of them are burn spells, but um, <laughs> you know you can always you can always bolt snap bolt your opponent to death. That's always super real, uh, especially so, against Death Shadow. <laughs> yeah, so Logan has to tread carefully, but I I think he's got such a dominant board position here um, that it's not going to be too big of a deal. Interestingly, Logan has the option of just flashing back Faithless Looting. It's card disadvantage, but that level of filtering at this late stage in the game is it's pretty really pretty good. dope, yeah. yeah. Um, of course, it will take his whole turn to do. So yeah, I think Logan just has to swing with one guy at a time, because he can't afford to take a hit from Snapcaster, putting him down to five. For sure. And Mike, Mike does have a mana leak and a land in hand, so he's not feeling too great about that either. Uh, is it a logic? Oh, it is mana leak, huh. How do you feel about Mana Leak right now? I think it's a good card. It really punishes decks that play on curve, for sure. Yeah. Still, and most modern decks play on curve. I mean... Well, that's se it seems good there. Answer the pack rat. And look, Logan only has three lands, so that Mana Leak's going to hit everything. Yeah, sure. So Mike does have the option of firing up Colonnade. Okay, he's, no, he's he just scooping. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> none more. It would have been interesting there to see Mike hit like a land drop, and because he was at, was he at five or six mana? Because uh, at some point he there, was at six. okay, that's there's some point there where he can fire up Colonnade, put his opponent to three, and threaten Lightning Bolt, but not when your opponent has uh, two Death Shadows in play. No. Oh, and looks like we've got a uh, full metagame breakdown for you. There's a bunch of crappy decks and one tribal zoo deck, so that's uh, that's all that's all we got, folks. We're gonna put on some tribal flame zoo later. Please, please tell me we don't have any soul sisters. Michael Richella is not playing soul sisters today. There was another one the other night, though. Oh really? It's it's yeah, spreading. It. <laughs> we should we got we got to get the center for disease control on this. It's it's spreading like a plague. No mono blue Tron. I don't see any Tron. So I'm thinking that Logan does want his two sideboard Blood Moons for this matchup. Um, I would completely agree. You can't quite tell if Mike has a read on the Blood Moon thing, but in a black-red Pack Rat deck, you can probably see it coming. I would, yeah, for sure. Yeah, the one difficulty, though, would be that Mike is on the play, and for Logan, Blood Moon is never great on the play. I never understood that. Why why Blood Moon's not good on the draw? Yeah, yeah. Blood Moon is just not as good on the draw. It's um, you know, your opponent can establish a board presence by then. Um, sure. They can put down now against against a Jess guy control deck. It's a little different, but we can assume that Mike is siding into things like Spell Queller and like for example, how many answers does Mike have to a turn three Blood Moon from Logan when he's on when Mike is on the play? Um, Spell Queller becomes an answer. Whereas on when Logan's on the play, a turn three Blood Moon means that Mike can only answer it with Mana Leak and Logic Knot. Okay. Um, where, so you open up way more options to answer it. Um, not only that, but your opponent just is more likely to have fetched more basics by that time. Just generally, they'll have put out a third land, and they if they're holding onto a fetch, they can they can respond. Um, sure. There are a bunch of awkward times where if you're on the on the draw against a Blood Moon deck you will have two lands in play and you've already fetched shock to you know cast your serum visions or your first mana leak or whatever else um, you know if you mana leaked your opponent's pack rat and you fetch shock to do that not thinking about blood moon then you get punished whereas if you did that same thing if you fetch shocked to mana leak the pack rat on your opponent's turn two you still have a third fetch land in play right. <laughs> if you're on the play and you can go get a basic in response to that blood moon right so yeah, blood moon is never out. great on the on the play okay oh, excuse me on the draw okay Alright. I do want to point out I did see Logan bring in the Blood Moons, though. You saw him? I did see him. We I, s I saw him while confirmed, he was shuffling. Confirmed Blood Moon sighting. Uh, he was shuffling and I saw him. I thought I thought I saw one, too. Were they from the dark? They were the old. Yeah. Old, the not. They were like they were like the pink ones. 
Yeah, I think those are... F well, there's a Chronicles one. Dude, I don't know. There's a Chronicles one and the Dark one. The Dark has black borders. Chronicles have white borders, I believe. I don't believe it's a white border. Okay. Well, maybe the Dark then, which is pretty dirty. Oh, oh it is <laughs> a white, <laughs> white border. border. All right. Just make, him, uh, just make your opponent salt. Well, let's see how good this is on, uh, on turn three on the draw. I don't think it's going to be good. I think Mike is going to be able to respond to it adequately. But if he doesn't have fetch lands or if he taps these fetch lands too early and gets caught without a spell queller or a mana leak, we could see this uh, this match end pretty quickly. Yeah, and not not only that, but like <coughs> Mike's Mike's probably just a little bit more experienced than me. And I'm I'm fairly certain he would not see a blood moon. Not see blood deck. moon coming. Yeah. I know I wouldn't. Yeah. But that's just gonna I'm bad, right? <laughs> no, Brent, you're not. You're not bad. Oh, thanks, thanks, Mark. Uh, you you beat me with ad nauseum the other day. It was actually very embarrassing. It was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, pretty I, hashtag easy. I think I think uh. what hap I think what happened is you cast Holy Day twice. Not Holy Day. I, what was it? Ethereal oh, haze. Ethereal Haze. Yeah, <laughs> and then I just and then I just folded. Yeah, <laughs> it was rough. Oh, so look at this. So Logan has a stomping ground. Do we think that means he has like ancient grudge in the sideboard? Like, what else is that stomping ground for? He clearly chose. Oh no, he didn't fetch. He just had it. It's for it's for skews. <laughs> I don't think you play skews in your in your one stomping ground deck, but you never know. I'll hold his beer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like Logan's still deciding what to discard. He's digging for a land. He is digging. Oh. I don't see. I don't think I see another land in his hand. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, he's got a black cleave cliff. Oh, right? there we go. Yeah. Cleave it up. Looks like Mike is on a bunch of removal spells. Come on, Mike. Grab a basic. Oh, he's <laughs> grabbing a basic. So I actually. Do you think that Logan can afford to Blood Moon if. He doesn't. Oh, is that a Verdant Catacombs? So I think Logan's gonna fetch for a Swamp on his turn and Blood Moon, I, assuming that's a Verdant Catacombs. I was gonna say Logan can't Blood Moon if he's just on red. Like it'd be. It seems very dangerous that for him to. That would be pretty bad. Yeah, that'd be yeah. pretty loose if he Blood Mooned and just had red. Now, obviously, he could still flash back his Faithless Lootings and all that. But right, but he he won't be able to cast uh, Lilies because he he only has one black. Right. Yeah, right he'll now. never cast Lily. <laughs> now I. It's unclear. I wonder how many swamps Logan's playing. I could see him playing two, but I could also see him playing like four or five. I would imagine it's a high amount since he has Blood Moon in the sideboard. Yeah, but it's also like a really low land deck, you know. And he has Black Leaf Cliffs. Like I to me, that Black Leaf Cliffs should be a a swamp, you know. But I don't know, especially if you're actually playing Death Shadow. I mean, as of what I'm seeing is, yeah, there's not a whole lot of red in the deck. But who am I to say, right? Who who are you to say? I'd like to pick up Brent. All right, we got a Geist of Saint Traft. That could get um, that scary. makes Blood Moon look a lot worse. <laughs> but I think we have to. S I mean, yeah, Logan's got to fire off Blood Moon anyway. Yeah. If he Blood Moons his opponent here, all Logan has to do is stick a threat that's bigger than a two-two in front of this uh, in front of this Geist, and Mike may not ever answer it. Now, Logan would probably rather have a Liliana here than a Blood Moon, but Blood Moon still seems fine. Oh! <laughs> Did you see, you see Mike, Mike there? Mike was Mike, ready. Yeah, Mike was about to sack his, his <laughs> yeah. guys because he thought it was a Lily. Yeah. Oh, just brutal. Hey, he's got a bolt, though. He does have a bolt. So, hey. He does have a bolt. So, if, if Logan puts out a 3-3 three, three Death Shadow to get, to get in front of this, uh, bolt. this Geist... See, this Blood Moon is still pretty good, but imagine if Logan were on the play and Mike would have no chance of casting this Geist, right? Okay, yeah, I see it. But hey, Mike's <laughs> still getting punished. But the other thing, too, is... is oh, there we go, 4-4 four, four Death Shadow. Uh, How does it feel, Lightning Bolt? How does it feel? Feels pretty bad, man. <laughs> this one might just be over. Dude, you gotta believe. You gotta believe. You gotta believe. Now, Mike can bolt... The um. What did he just draw? Another Geist. Yeah. yeah that's another Geist. <laughs> so oh. Mike, if if Mike decides to swing with Geist here and Logan blocks it, 
Um, Mike can bolt the Death Shadow, but I wonder if in that case it's better for Mike just to try to bolt his face because Logan's going to be down to five life right? because he'll take the four from the Angel. So I think maybe threatening that bolt of face is actually just better than threatening the Death Shadow. I think I would hold the bolt until right. Mike knows for sure. Yeah. Like, don't... Screw Death Shadow. But I, I say you, I say you swing here to get the four damage in now for over sure. the, over the top. Absolutely. Because right now Logan doesn't have any. An Logan has no other black mana, and there's no red answer to that four four angel. Yeah. Right. So Mike's gonna make that play. He's gonna block with a shadow. Don't bolt it. Take four in the air. Don't go bolt to it, five. Mike. Yeah. I, th I I I think if you're Mike, you save that bolt. You save that bolt. Because he had, if even there was has no the Blood Moon, Mike would have just won. He's got lightning helix too. Sure. Yeah, if Mike <laughs> if Mike just draws a planes, uh yeah, this game's over. But you never know. <sighs> we might see Ugh. Okay, so now he now he has a definite clock. So yeah, bolt him end of turn. Seems good. Now you're hoping for Oh, you can't do electrolyze either. You just need another bolt. Oh. Yeah, that's rough. Oh hey, Mike's one step closer to going to the bar. Sure. All right, well, uh, folks, we got about 30 minutes left. Um, we can try to find another match for you. Um, we got somebody playing Wizards. I don't know if that <laughs> just means that they're playing Dark Confidants and Snapcasters, but no, dude, they're from Wizards. Oh, they're from Wizards <laughs> of the Coast. Yeah, that could be. That could be. I doubt it. Who would uh, want to come to Ohio? Ohio is a great state. I, no, honestly, I love it, but Wonderful everyone like state. talks bad about it all the time. I'm like. Oh, it's great. Yeah, people like to talk smack about states they know nothing about, you know? Um, no, I'm talking about the people who live here. Well, people who live here, well, that gets, you know, the first problem is that Ohioans are, are just not very smart. So, that, so that's Hey, I'm, we're, we're I mean, not I'm Kentucky. <laughs> I'm from Indiana, so. <laughs> we're, I, not, uh, we're not Kentucky, though, okay? <laughs> yeah, Kentucky's uh, got some, some larger governmental issues. Right. Anyway, let's let's not go into that. So um, <laughs> no, let's get political next we're round. Gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go to we're gonna go to our players and see if we can find another match for you that's sideboarding, and maybe we'll get some wizards. Um, that could be. A, I wonder if that's a Dosana Perfection deck. Do you know that card? No. That's the uh, the final form of Delver. Okay. You know how Delver has they they ended up doing a complete cycle. There's the one man that flips through a three two. There's the guy that flips to a. 4-3, I believe. Okay. And then there's a guy that flips to a 5-4 a or a 6-5. There it is. Yeah, th these, this is one of the sweetest like mega cycles they ever did. This card is actually really good. One time I drew up a wizard list that was just 4 Dark Confidant, 4 Snapcaster Mage, uh, a couple of Dose Sense of Perfection, and just Blue-Black Control. This card, Dose Sense, when it flips, becomes insane. Wizards you control get plus two, plus one in flying, and of course Snapcaster and Dark Confidant are both wizards. Right. And then you can play some regular Delver of Secrets because he on the front side is a wizard. What's cool about this card is that it actually makes your unflipped Delvers into three twos, right? Into three two <laughs> into three two flyers. Yeah. That's the intent of the card, is that it's the final it's the final perfected form. It makes your unflipped Delvers Three, they can still be humans, but have the power of an insectile aberration. That's awesome. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet thing, Wizards. I don't think they got enough appreciation when this uh, this card and its other one came out. I think the other one's like Aberrant Researcher. Um, Beats me, dude. And then know. these one one blue wizard tokens you get become Instantly Delver of Secrets. Yes. Yeah. Woo. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet Woo. deck. Yeah, we're getting Aberrant Researcher up on the board here. This card is just just magnificent. Um, not nearly as powerful as Dose and Perfection, but uh, still pretty cool. So, yeah, m one of my one of my favorite things to come out of the uh, the shadows of Rannistrad block. Anyway, we will be back very shortly.